The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max have had a heck of a launch week with users and reviewers alike testing the phone's new titanium construction. And the scores are not looking great. They really should have paid attention in class. I'm James Strive, this is TechLinked, and this is the repairability score awarded to the iPhone 15 lineup by iFixit. Four out of 10, matching the iPhone 14 score after iFixit downgraded it from a seven. You see the 14 added the ability to open up from the front or the back, but Apple still heavily limits user repair through software. Kind of like inviting your friend over to stand in your entryway, but proceed no further. I value your friendship this much. I get cookies. Similar to many early iPhone 15 Pro owners, iFixit found the titanium shell scratches really easily. Something also discovered by YouTuber Jerry Rig Everything shortly before he cracked the glass back of the 15 Pro Max about two seconds into his bend test. It might be time for iPhoneers to consider switching to the Pixel 8 Pro when it launches on October 4th. Google's now promising seven years of software updates, which should really extend the life of your phone as long as it doesn't pull a Pixel 7 and have its buttons randomly fall off. I mean, you barely use them. Redditors can now earn real money based on the amount of karma and gold they receive on eligible posts, validating the oceans of blood, sweat, and tears excreted by millions of users who have spent years toiling in the fake internet point fields. It's honest work. It's hard not to draw comparisons between the new Reddit contributor program and Twitter's recent rollout of ad revenue sharing for Twitter Blue, <coughs> I mean, X premium subscribers. If only because social media platforms paying users living wages for posts written while shitting on the literal shitter is a fairly new thing. Unlike blue checks, Redditors won't have to front eight bucks a month to get paid, but they will have to verify that they meet certain eligibility requirements like being over 18, living in the US, and having an account in good standing. They can start farming dollar dollar bills on eligible contributions, which don't include posts with sexually explicit content or content related to violence, drugs, firearms, gambling, scams, crypto or otherwise, and of course, donations to chair. The worst of the bunch. Stop it. References to the new program were actually first spotted by Android Authority back in July when Reddit announced a phase out of Reddit coins and gold shortly before launching more NFT avatars, which have somehow survived the crypto collapse. Yes, they're still cringe, but it's Reddit, so it doesn't matter. Nvidia envisions a future where games are mostly rendered from AI generated frames as opposed to frames produced with traditional rasterization at native resolution, because they look better anyway. Like how any picture pre-2022 pales in comparison to the anime waifu's mid-journey creates for me to pretend to cuddle with. Oh, that's so good. No, the, cu the cuddling's real. It's re great cuddling. The AI rendered games comment comes from NVIDIA's Vice President of Applied Deep Learning Research, Brian Catanzaro, who, who told Digital Foundry that in Cyberpunk 2077's latest update, DLSS 3.5's frame generation and ray reconstruction features result in realer, better looking frames, despite being the result of an upscaling process. Brian went so far as to suggest that in the far future, DLSS 10 will enable a completely neural rendering system, which won't use rasterization at all. Whether he made the comments as a cope for the fact that AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XT can power the 7680 by 2160 240 hertz display on Samsung's latest super ultra wide Odyssey Neo G9, while the RTX 4090 cannot, is anyone's guess. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Rocket Money, the company that wants to help you save more and spend less. With every service imaginable charging you a subscription, simply trying to enjoy all of Christopher Nolan's films can leave you tangled up in a web of lady radiated bills, and all that stress can leave you with insomnia. Luckily, Rocket Money's The Prestige is Service can safely find your recurring payments and cancel any you don't want with just a tap, leaving you free to watch Tenant in Peace. Click the link below and enjoy Rocket Money's interstellar service for free today. Memento. Dunkirk. Inception. Sadly, the quick bits got a bit squished in transit, so they're really more like meat beats. No, still good, but just Smooshed. A ransomware group is claiming that all of Sony's bases are belong to them as they have breached, quote, all Sony systems, end quote. Everyone. The proof of the hack posted by the group is apparently not particularly compelling, according to cybersecurity experts, but we'll know for sure sooner or later as the group says that Sony won't pay and the data will be published in three days if nobody buys it first. Though if this is anything like the 2014 Sony hack, we might get a sneak peek into future films and terrorist threats targeting Seth Rogen. Remember that? 
Wait, how do we know this wasn't him? Kim's back. OpenAI has released an update for ChatGPT that allows the chatbot to see, hear, and speak, removing one of the last things really throwing a wrench in our romantic relationship. It already has that sweet nothings extension. You can now audibly talk to it in a conversational style, as well as include images in your prompts so it knows what the hell you're talking about if your parents told you to use your words a bit too much. Now, you can show ChatGPT a picture of your barbecue to troubleshoot why it won't work. If you'd like to hear that, it's infested by gremlins. That's the standard answer. The update gives ChatGPT the tools it will need to go against Meta's planned sassy chatbot for teens. But it's left me missing our old, much worse AI assistants like ALXEA. ChatGPT, play Despacito. Getty Images, who has previously sued AI art generators for using its copyrighted images in their training data, has now announced their own AI art generator because this is the way of things, built by NVIDIA and reportedly trained entirely on licensed images. A claim Getty is so confident in, they're offering to get sued on your behalf. It's like the 30 minutes or free guarantee, but if the driver was explicitly willing to go to jail to get your pizza to you on time, I don't care if it's a school zone. I am nothing. You deserve this. Getty also says that images generated this way will not be added into the library, thereby preventing the lossy JPEG problem of training an AI using their own output that threatens to turn all future AI art into an uncanny valley soup or hellscape. Just throw some basil on there, it's great. Head of AMD's Radeon division, Scott Hertelman, has announced his departure from the company after seven years following the launch of the RX 7800 XT and 7700 XT. Herkelman was known as a friendly and approachable face willing to engage with the community. By his socials, Herkelman said goodbye to the Radeon team, saying he will miss every single one of them. Fighting shoulder to shoulder in the trenches together. Ah, that was I, my interpretation of his tone. And Tesla has released a new video ostensibly showcasing the new capabilities of their Neuronet trained Optimus robot, first unveiled two years ago. Though I don't see it taking on the Decepticons anytime soon, some have speculated that parts of the video look like CGI, but it's equally possible that they simply fast forwarded sections to make the robot look less like a concussed toddler slowly sorting blocks, which would explain why its human assistant appears to move uncannily fast. <laughs> or he's had a lot of coffee. <laughs> In another scene, the same robot also demonstrated its ability to balance on one leg through some beginner yoga, helpfully labeled Namaste. It's the Namaste pose on one leg. And you should Namaste tuned for Wednesday when we'll be back. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. For another episode labeled Tech Link. Yeah, I like that one, James. Mm -hmm. that, was, <laughs> that was good. Went off script there. <laughs>